Hi friends, you're here with me, Jen the Taxidermy Witch, and we're going to do some really awesome things. I'm, I'm going to show you my finalized bone kit, and also before that I'm going to show you some of my art. Now, my art can get pretty weird and creative as you can see, um, you know, uh, old antique science kits and, uh, you know, chemistry sets and big mannequins and uh, taxidermy and all that, right? <clears throat> so I like created all these suitcases. I like fell in love with vintage suitcases and I decoupaged them. And uh, this one is really something. I'm going to show it to you. I'm going to share it with you. It's actually for sale. I have a few of them that I've made. Um, now, I've not ever known anybody to do something like this. So I'm going to uh, tip the camera down and show it to you. It's uh, what side should I start with? I guess I should start with, I don't know, it, it's messed up. <laughs> My art is not nice. It's like supposed to be really shocking, okay? So here is the front. I usually carry it with the woman side out. And it's just got a bunch of decoupage. And most of these pictures come from the book called Body. I don't even know if you remember that book from the Otis! I don't know if you remember that book from the um, 90s. It was called Body and it just had all these amazing pictures in it and I just put some really creative things together and uh, some really morbid things together. And then on the other side, it's even more messed up. Um, these are again all from the Body's book. So I call this my serial killer briefcase, and it's got all these, it kind of tells a story the way I put it together when you actually look at it. Um, so yes, inside, what is inside? This is all art. This is not actually meant to be used. I have to say that first of all. This is just my art. It's something I put in my house and when somebody goes, what's in that briefcase on your thing? I show them. And it's a serial killer kit, right? <laughs> You've got some leather gloves. You've got your keys to the gloves. You've got your all-needed duct tape. You've got handcuffs. And you have a big rope. And uh, I don't know why, but I used to keep that in the back of my car as like funny kind of joke. And then I realized like if I ever got pulled over, that would be so messed up. So I just started keeping it in my house, but I collect like vintage suitcases and then decoupage them and I really enjoy doing that. So if anybody's interested in one of my suitcases, let me know. I have more than that. Um, but this one is the one that I carry around a lot of the time when I'm just out and about or I used to do massage and go to work. Um, and it's got like Rosemary's Baby on it. <laughs> it's got Mr. Bean. It's got um, in-betweeners. It's got Peep Show. It's got... Um, Absolutely fabulous. It's got Orange is the New Black. It's got um, Skins, Converse, uh, what is that called? Um, Doctor Who, um, Pulp Fiction, Friends, Alice in Wonderland, uh, Bob's Burgers, <laughs> Ted Bundy over here. Um, just a lot of stuff. More Orange is the New Black. NASA. Alright, so what's inside of this? My bone set. I've got everything in here and I'm going to show you how I'm going to use it and I'm going to do a second video to show you the throw. Now I'm hoping everything stayed in here the right way. Please, please, please. Yeah, it kind of did. Okay, so what have I got in here? Let me show you. Alright. First of all, <clears throat> when I'm going to throw bones, I'm going to have a very special um, thing that I lay out, like a big red, you know, my big special just for bone throwing um, that I've blessed red uh, cloth. And then I've got my Travel Florida water to spray before I do my bone reading. I've got my anti-negativity oil to put on myself 
to keep any negative spirit away because I do ask spirit for help during the reading. I've got a piece of kind of fresh fruit with some greenery on it because that just helps me. I don't know really why, but I'm going to be carrying something like that with me during my readings. I have two bones, uh, excuse me, two rocks that I want to keep in my hands. This one I believe is hematite and this is obsidian and they just fit in my hands so well and the energy I get between those two is just really really something and I think it connects with my rings as well. Um, so I'll have those to hold when I'm trying to read and I have, you know, my travel altar, I have matches, I have a candle and I have a little piece of palo santo for cleansing if I needed to but I also have that Florida water. Um, when I'm doing the readings, if I have trouble connecting to spirit, I do add something like this to get a little bit more connection to spirit. Not a lot, you guys. There's a shot and a half in there. It's not much. Um, but sometimes that can help your readings, in my opinion. Um, now, I know you guys want to see my bones, so I'm going to show it to you. I'm keeping the actual bones in this beautiful bag that a beautiful friend of mine, uh, Black Moon Coven, who has... A YouTube channel as well and an Etsy page. Um, she's great. Please check her out. Um, but yeah, I'm keeping my turkey bones in here and my I'm going to be mixing them together right now for the first time. And uh, here is the chicken foot that I'll be blessing myself from head to toe with before my readings. So I'll be doing the Florida water and then the chicken foot. And if you guys want to do readings, let me know. We can do them on Skype. And I know you guys want to see the bones, so I've shown you all of that. This is my suitcase. I'm going to have it in for travel. Everything just kind of fits in there perfectly. I like that a lot. So we would have the red cloth out. putting signs and symbols over the area. Running this foot across. Foot symbols. Whatever blessings you do, okay? Whatever makes it feel right to you. Here are the bones I've chosen. The curios. And here are the actual bones. Now we're going to put them together. Alright, there's what I ended up choosing. So, if you guys want to see, I'll show them to you one by one. And then, um, you know, if you guys want to do readings, I'll do a reading for you. Got this one. A couple of these. Earplug. Nail. Scrabble tile, light bulb, turkey bone, bean, bone, stone, more bones, my grandma's button. Teeny tiny deer. It's my favorite bone, the axe. Really old quarter with a dent in the head. Blue tourmaline. Spool of thread. 
bauen. Gold Coin. Gold Coin. Smoky Quartz Point Sacrum Bone Grandma's Button Nutmeg Blue Lapis Some Gems Auntie's Button Granddad's button. Dad's class ring. A match. Tiny pheasant feather. Scarlet runner bean. Choke cherry from Ash. Barnacle rock I found on the beach. Cap, bottle cap, driftwood. Bone. Bone. Really, really old clip I found in the woods. Cinnamon stick. Ninja. Teeny tiny perfume bottle from my grandma. It says three flowers. Bone. Empty bottle that cannot be opened. Red runner bean. Sewing pieces. A dice. Chestnut. Lava bead. Other auntie's button. Silver screw. These are my bones. So let me know if I can do a reading for you. Jen the Taxidermy Witch, this is my bone set. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, just contact me here in the comments. All my love to you guys. And if you want to get your own bone reading going, I highly suggest it. If you're interested in my artwork, message me below. Have a great day, you guys.